Deb here, and I'm ready for my close-up. Or maybe not. Nope, it's Oscar time, and I thought I would share with you, excuse me, some of my dolls that are made to represent movie characters. But before I get started with that, I want to share Barbie. It's Hooray for Hollywood Barbie 2008. 2002. <laughs> what I was reading it said Avon did this, but um, I don't see Avon listed anywhere here. And look at this. She's there for the premiere of her new movie called Sweet Romance. And so she's walking the red carpet and the paparazzi's there. And I just think it's a lovely display. It's supposed to open like this and stay that way, but I've never been able to, to get it to. But it's Barbie. Hooray for Hollywood and her movie Sweet Romance. I always think of her when Oscars come about. Okay, our first example is Grace Kelly. Now, I have four Grace Kelly dolls. I'm only going to share two right now because I have so many. I, I'm just going to have to do a two-parter. But this is from To Catch a Thief. It was made in 2011. And, oh, sorry about the glare. You know, there'll be still pictures at the end. And her beautiful gown. Such a beautiful lady. Great movie. And there she is on the back. And that's uh, To Catch a Thief, 2011, made by Mattel. And then, another Grace Kelly, Rear Window. Also made in 2011. This is one of my favorite movies. It's just captivating. Jimmy Stewart. It's just a wonderful film. And look at the costume. They captured it perfectly. It's hard to capture her kind of beauty, but there it is. She's just so exquisite. And there she is on the back. This is Rear Window 2011. And please check out the still pictures because they won't have a glare. I've been working on the lighting and it's just not working. So. Tippi Hedren in The Birds, the 1963 movie, I believe. Let me double check. Birds, Birds, 63. This was made in 2008. Look at that. They've got the birds attached to her. Oh, what an intense movie. I love it. And they've, again, they've captured her outfit perfectly. This doll was made um, to benefit the... Sh I'm sorry. I have to look at this, but it's important. To promote the Shambhala Preserve that she started for animals. And uh, I love it when Mattel works to do something like that. It's just... And there's pictures on the back. And even her handbag is pretty impressive. So that was The Birds, starring Tippi Hedren. And then another one of my all-time favorite movies was Mary Poppins. This I have several Mary Poppins dolls, which I'll have to share at some other time. But this is the Holly Jolly edition Mary Poppins and of course she's in the costume from the fantasy sequence the animated part or partly animated Disney was so creative I'm so sorry for the glare look at that it's a perfect Julie Andrews um, face sculpt and here's on the back that was Mary Poppins and here's some Burke Played by Dick Van Dyke. And look at that face. Isn't that amazing? These were made in 2007. And he's riding the merry-go-round with Mary. I just think these are beautiful dolls. I really do. Speaking of beautiful dolls, 
Cleopatra. She is, I have a lot of beautiful dolls, but she's got to be among the very, very top. And please check out the, the um, still pictures because you'll see a really good, isn't that beautiful? Of course, Elizabeth Taylor is the star. Oh, she just takes my breath away, this doll. Oh, details, details. 1999 from the 1963 movie. And there's some pictures on the back. But oh, that face, I sure hope you'll, you can see the exquisiteness of that face. Trying not to knock everything over. And of course, you saw my uh, gentleman prefer blondes in a doll haul video I did, which I lost her shoe. I had it on her when I started. Uh, how many times do I say that in a video? But it, I, to me, she's more Barbie as Marilyn. Again, I have a lot of Marilyn dolls, which I will share with you in another video. I don't know if they made, um, well, yeah, they, they made a pink, the pink dress, um, the diamonds are a girl's best friend, and they've made, different doll companies have made um, this costume, so isn't she beautiful? Barbie or Marilyn, they're both beautiful. And then we have Pillow Talk with Rock Hudson and Doris Day. I have never seen this movie, and I like both these people. I, I don't know how I missed it, but I'm going to have to check it out. But there they are. It looks like a charming movie. And with those two, it almost had to be, didn't it? Pillow Talk. Let's see, this doll was made in 2011. Boy, Mattel was busy in 2011 with movie star dolls, weren't they? And the movie is from 59. And let's see, I have, as I said, I have a ton more to share with you, but that's it, because I don't want the video to be too long. But I had an idea to share with you, something I do. Because normally when I'm going to do one of these videos, I try to learn as much as I can about the doll. In this case, most of these dolls I had already researched because I scrapbook. I scrapbook my doll collection. A friend of mine got me started doing that. See? It's so much fun. And what you do is... Of course, I'd open it to a doll I haven't shared with you. Okay, there's some Mary Poppins. Anyway, it's just taking pictures, recording what you know about the doll, maybe where you got the doll. It's just nice to have to look back on, and uh, it's just fun, and just like movies are fun. At least the old movies. I'm not too much of a fan of the new stuff, but that's just me. I like the new Star Wars movie, though. So I hope you enjoyed this little walk down my Deb's doll room red carpet. And I hope you enjoy the video. If uh, You can go over to Instagram and comment there. Or maybe you'll be able to comment on this. I don't know. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope, stay tuned for part two. And until then, toodles. Toodles. <laughs>